Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Snuggly Monkey unboxing. Um, we are in the fabric room today uh, because I just received a rather large fabric shipment this morning and I uh, hardly ever unbox fabric <laughs> on these lives. So I thought I would do some of that today. Um, and I also have a lot of sashiko. Uh, so if fabric and sashiko is your thing, then uh, today's unboxing is for you. Um, before I jump into the boxes, um, hello, thank you for joining. Uh, quick announcement, uh, next week uh, is going to be Snuggly Monkey Spring Break and we're going to be on a shipping break. Um, so any orders placed after this Saturday, March 23rd, will not start shipping again until Thursday, April 4th. So if you need anything before, um, you know, April 4th-ish, please be sure to place your orders before um, kind of the end of the day on Saturday. I'll be here on Sunday packing orders, um, and then that's it. Um, I won't be shipping again until April 4th. So keep that in mind if there's anything um, that you need before April 4th. All right, so let's dive in. I'm going to start with fabric, and then I'll move over to the Sashigo boxes. I got a big um, restock from Olympus, as well as Daruma and Little House, so we'll take those at the end. So the first uh, fabric, all of this is Japanese fabric um, that has come in. Oof, these bolts are so heavy. Um, so this is a very popular uh, print from Sevenberry. Um, it is not a homespun, which is a slightly rustic uh, cotton fabric. Um, the sad news is that this print has been discontinued. So this is the very last bolt that I will ever get of this print, um, which always makes me sad when they discontinue fabrics that are really popular, um, but for whatever reason they have. So if you like this print, be sure to grab some before it's gone because this will not be in the shop again. All right. Next up, this is the um, Sevenberry Heathered Plus Signs. Again, another cotton fabric. It has a really nice texture to it. Um, all of these fabrics work well for garment sewing, quilting, stitching on. Uh, when I'm, since I'm not a quilt shop, when I am shopping for fabric for the store, I'm almost always thinking about if it would be a good fabric for sashiko, for embroidery, as well as for you know, bag making or garment sewing or quilting, um, that kind of stuff. So what is behind me on these shelves over here, that is the Cosmo uh, Cotton Linen Blend. It is a mid-weight canvas, which means it's not as heavy as like a duck cloth, um, 10 ounce canvas, but it's thicker than quilting cotton. It's actually my favorite fabric for um, Sashiko. Uh, the weight of it uh, helps really hold your stitches really nicely. You don't need a backing fabric. It, uh, um, embroidery on there is also really, really nice. Um, I have friends that have used it for garment sewing and absolutely love it. The more you wash it, the softer it gets. So it's kind of a really great um, versatile fabric. And that's what's in this box that I just opened is a restock of several of the colors. Um, there's the whites is there the sea foam and then the dark navy is in here as well so the linen cotton count this is 85 percent cotton 15 percent linen there's another um, linen cotton blend from Hishie and they are a 55 55 cotton, 45 linen, I believe. Um, and it's got a smaller number of colors in their range, but again, another really beautiful fabric for garment sewing, for stitching. And it has some richer colors that are not available um, in this line, like this kind of deep royal purple is part of that uh, collection. The natural uh, has a really kind of nice, rustic uh, color to it and then there is the navy blue 
uh, which the navy blue is obviously always super popular here because um, lots of folks are using this stuff for sashiko and they kind of like that traditional um, navy blue and white combo. Oof. All right. Last box of fabric here. Uh, some more of that Sevenberry, the heathered plus signs. That's the denim color. And it also comes in red. There's, uh, we're getting into some of the cute prints that are in here. This is the Dobby double-sided cotton fabric. Um, so this stuff is really cool because it has two sides to the print. So on one side, you've got, on this one, you've got the green um, flowers. And then on the inside, it is a blue um, asanoha, the hemp leaf pattern. So all of these, they have one color on the outside, one color on the inside. Um, it is cotton. It has a very silky feel to it. It is woven on a Dobby loom. So it has, um, you can see those like stripes there. So it has a texture to it. So when you run your hands across it, um, it not only feels silky, but it also has this really nice little texture. Um, again, I've seen lots of folks do really cool things with this, um, garments, because for the hems, you can turn the hem and then you'll have the other color and the other print showing up on your hems. Bags, the same kind of thing. Um, placemats, where people have done um, a rolled edge binding on it. So, um, so that's what these that I'm about to pull out are um, more of these double-sided cotton Dobby, D-O-B-B-Y um, prints. And so this one is green dragonflies on the outside and brown on the inside. And then there is the purple one, and I believe this is purple flowers on the outside and blue on the inside, I think, of the Asanoha. So there's the purple print. Um, and then we've got some of the kind of really cute prints. This is from the company Yamaoka, um, and these are little bunnies on that uh, traditional hemp leaf design um, is on the background of the pink. All right, and these last five bolts are brand new prints, so you're not gonna find them on the website yet. Um, they actually probably will not go up until after I'm back from spring break, so I'm sorry, but here's a little sneak peek of what's gonna be coming. Um, fabric ordering, it, uh, as a store is kind of a really fascinating process because a lot of the times um, the fabric companies will release their designs, you place your order, and then you have to wait <laughs> anywhere between like six months to a year before the fabric shows up. Um, so you're trying to kind of make your best guesses as to what might work, what, what might be popular. Um, and then a lot of the times I kind of forget <laughs> what I order by the time it gets here. So it's always really exciting when new prints do show up because it's been a long time since I placed that order. Um, so first up is these little turtles. So they've got um, little flowers and dots on their shells on a navy blue background. Those are super cute. Uh, we have this uh, floral print, so it's an indigo background, and all of the cherry blossoms um, are in a like metallic silver. Um, so that's, that's actually really really pretty. Um, that's there, and then there are a lot of cat fabrics <laughs> um, on their way. So if you're a cat fan, uh, from Last summer, last fall, and now in the spring, um, I, I've ordered a ton of cat fabrics. Uh, they're very popular, and just a lot of the fabric, the Japanese fabric companies have come out with a ton of new cat prints. Um, so this is one of them. These are little cat heads that have uh, traditional Japanese uh, designs inside of the heads, and then you can see there's little um, like sleeping cats and uh, little cats kind of interspersed in between. That's similar to, um, there used to be a cat head fabric that got discontinued, um, and so that's kind of a new version of that. 
this one um, is slightly more like cartoon drawings of cats and plates and little fish and then the last one is this um, orange peel uh, again with little um, cat heads and fish and paws and all that stuff in there so those five are coming soon um, like I said I need to photograph them and everything so they're probably not going to be um, up before I leave for spring break but I will have them up as soon as possible all right there has been like I said there's been a lot of fabric I got a lot of fabric listed last week um, that came in recently there is this new print that is little frogs um, there used to be a very popular print that looked very similar to this um, but it had cats instead of the frogs and it came in black in red in navy um, super duper popular print it was called fuku cats um, from cosmo and then they discontinued it <laughs> um, and it was very sad uh, but the rumor is that it is coming back not rumor it is coming back because i just ordered it um, but again it's probably going to be about six months or so before the cats the fuku cats are back um, but for now they have released these little frogs instead um, there are these little uh, cats at the onsen or the spa um, and then there is the shiba inu and onigiri which is a rice ball design um, so lots of cute prints that have been coming in lately um, and more are on the way. All right, uh, so let's dive into the box from Olympus. There is a huge restock <laughs> of all of the new colors uh, that Olympus just released at the beginning of February. Um, they released uh, 11 more jewel tone solids and then 11 of their um, Awai Ido or the dusty and pastel colors. Um, and so these are your Hawaii Iro uh, colors. These are the pastels. And the dusty colors are in here as well. Those are down here. Um, so there's a lot, a lot of thread in here. Um, I'm still working on restocking from QuiltCon. So um, a lot of this in here is kind of bringing all of that back up to normal levels. Um, all right. In this little bag, we have the Koki clips, both in the antique gold and the silver. Um, and if you don't know what Koki clips are, they are these little clips that you can use on drawstring bags, Japanese rice pouches traditionally. Um, and so it's this little clip that instead of creating channels for your drawstring, you uh, just create kind of a closed seam on the top. And then you, with a pair of pliers, you put the clips on, you run your, um, this is the uh, waxed cotton cording, um, and you run that through and then you don't have to sew little channels. So that's what the Koki clips are. Um, and they come in, like I said, in silver and in antique gold. The size of Koki clip that I have works uh, best with the three millimeter wax cotton cording. The, um, the, little, the little circle itself does fit the five millimeter thickness one, but in order for it to cinch, you need to put two strands of drawstring in there in opposite directions. And so two of the five millimeter will not fit through that hole. So the three millimeter is better um, if you're using these Koki clips. If you're doing channels or have a larger um, Koki clip than the five millimeter, which has a, as obviously a little bit thicker, um, has kind of a chunkier look to it, would work with that. All right, uh, more Koki clips. We've got some of the uh, little zipper poles. This is the ladybug, the mushroom, um, and the monstera leaf. These are some of the um, Olympus embroidery kits. They have three kind of beginner embroidery kits. This is level one. Um, and the idea is that on one side, you, uh, 
practice stitches and then you use these stitches to stitch up the other design. This is a really fun kit. It has these instructions are translated into English on these. It's got the thread, the needles, um, and so it's a really nice kit to learn embroidery with. <coughs> I've done this one. The size of this is like a four inch square. Um, and so I actually have a little, it's inside of a four inch uh, frame, but it, the, this particular design is small enough that you can actually fit this onto one of the, uh, the, oval, the large oval um, brooch kits that I have as well. Um, so you can do a couple different things with your little your little design and this is that's level one um, there's a level two and a level three that just teaches you kind of more advanced stitches and then the design the accompanying design is is has more stitches is kind of more involved than the little flower what else is in here this is the sashigo patch mending kit um, and so this actually includes a pre-printed sashigo panel that has five different patch designs on it for you to stitch. It has the sashiko thread, your thimble, your needles, and then it also has scraps of uh, Japanese fabric. So the idea is that everything that is included in this kit is what you need in order to be able to mend clothing, create kind of a boro patchwork um, piece. So that, that's the complete kit. But if you just want the pre-printed panel, um, that is also sold separately without the whole kit where you can just get the panel if you don't need the thread and the needles and the fabric and all of that. All right. Um, so the rest of this box is, like I said, more. These are the 100 meter skeins of Olympus are in here. And then loads and loads of the pre-printed samplers are in here as well. All right. So let's move on to the box of Daruma. Oops, newspapers in there. All right. So a uh, restock of the Daruma thin thread, the 20 slash four. There's also some of the medium weight, which is the 20 slash six. So the thin is the one that is on the dark navy card and the, um, the medium weight is on the white card. Uh, that's how you can tell the difference just from looking at them as to which one is which. The, uh, the thin one is similar to a size 8 uh, pearl cotton, a little bit thinner, and this one is closer to a size 5 pearl. Um, otherwise, the colors between the two lines are the same, uh, so you can kind of interchange depending on which thickness you like. This is the Daruma Home Thread number 30. It is a super thin thread um, that can be used for just kind of regular hand stitching, um, but can also be used for sashiko. It creates super fine lines, really delicate um, look to it. I have done some sashiko on it. It's um, probably, it's in my feed somewhere. Uh, there's an example of it. But um, if, particularly if you're doing any of the super dense hitomezashi, the grid style designs, and you really want to accentuate all of the little lines, this is a great thread for that because you're gonna get super fine, um, really pretty thin lines. And the colors in this, available in this collection are fantastic there. Um, they have both muted colors and really bright colors. There's a really wide range. I think I've got about 50 different colors in this line. Um, I took these to QuiltCon and they were super duper popular. <laughs> um, so I'm really happy to have these back because my little thread display with these has been really empty lately. These are the um, Sashigo sampler kits. These are, uh, they include the Daruma um, 
thread, needles, and the Daruma samplers. Um, Orimono Imports puts these together for me and they have um, the instructions are all in English, which is nice. So if you're looking to uh, start doing sashiko and you just want a kit that has everything that you need, these kits are that. They've got the sampler, the thread, the needles, um, and your sashiko thimble is in here as well. So we've got some of those in there. I have a restock of some of the Kogan uh, fabric. And Kogan, um, if you're not familiar, is another style of sashiko somewhat similar to counted cross stitch in that there are uh, charts where you're counting the threads in order to figure out um, how um, Buenos dias desde acá de Los Ángeles. Ustedes hacen costuras muy lindas. Muchas gracias. <laughs> um, they say hello from Los Angeles. Um, you do very pretty stitch work or embroidery. So thank you very much. Um, so with Kogan, uh, so the Kogan fabric is an even weave so that you can count the threads in order to be able to create the little Kogan motifs. Uh, and so this is the gray color. Um, I've got those here. There's so much in this box. <laughs> um, all right. These are the Daruma Complete Solid sets. All of the, um, the Daruma 1 through 29, this is the thin thread. Um, so that's what's inside this box. You also get a set of Daruma Sashiko needles and a little pin cushion. Um, these have been sold out for a little bit, so I've got several of them are in here at the bottom of this box. Let's see if I can dig a little deeper. All of the little house uh, thimbles and stuff are all the way at the bottom of this box. Oof. All right. So these are. Um, por favor, usted hace envíos a Los Angeles. Sí, yo mando paquetes por todo el mundo. Um, she's asking me if I uh, send packages to Los Angeles. Yes, I ship worldwide. Um, just, yeah, just about everywhere. <laughs> so this is the, um, this is the tortoise shell thimble from Little House. It's this really cool looking little armor. Um, this is really handy for folks that have long fingernails and can't use other thimbles because the uh, the top of it where your nail bed is, is open. So if you have long fingernails, they can actually come out through the top. Um, but this also encases your entire finger, like from about this point onwards, you've got a metal all around it. So I have been using mine recently. I've picked up um, my Alice in Glass Kantha quilt that, um, I had started several years ago and kind of put to the side. I've been working on it again lately. And the way that I'm stitching that is, I'm not exactly, I'm not doing sashi, I'm just kind of doing these running stitches, but I'm finding it helpful to push my needle through using my middle finger. So I've got the tortoise shell on this finger, um, kind of protecting this finger. I've got my two rubber uh, needle grippers on these two fingers. So that's helping me grab the needle. I push it with this finger. Um, so that's another way to be able to use the tortoise shell. It comes in medium and large. Um, I use a medium. Um, the, it is adjustable. So this little flap here on the top, you can tighten it or loosen it um, depending on what size you might need. So we've got some of these. There's more of the Rubber grippers, I'm sure, are all the way down here. Um, let's see what else I can pull up from the bottom. I think this is another tortoise shell. Um, I bet it would be useful for knitters as well. Sometimes, oops, that went fast. Sometimes my pointer finger gets small cuts from knitting needles. Yeah, I, that would probably be helpful. That The nice thing is that it because it's adjustable, you can really use it on um, several different fingers and be able to adjust it even though the size is different. Me haría el favor de enviarme como hago para comunicarme con usted fuera de envío. Me puede mandar un mensaje por Instagram o si no me puede mandar un correo electrónico uh, a hello at snugglymonkey.com. 
Um, she's asking me how I can, how she can communicate with me outside of the Instagram Live. And so you can always send me an Instagram a message via Instagram, but the best way is really uh, to contact me via email. That's actually the, I have kind of several rules set up to make sure that I get back to everybody. Um, so email tends to be the best way to get in touch with me. And the email address is hello at snugglymonkey.com. All right. All right, folks. So this box is huge. <laughs> there, I'm gonna, I could keep digging. Um, I'll pull out one more thing that I see really quickly. This is the Kinkame Silk Threads. Uh, so these, it's a Japanese brand of silk threads. De nada. <laughs> um, uh, so the nice part is that each card has kind of a gradient of colors. So there's the greens are here. You've got purples. There's 11 different cards um, so that you get kind of a nice sample of threads. The thickness of it is a little bit thinner than the uh, Soie Perlet, the Avera Soie uh, Silk Pearl. If I had to compare it to a cotton pearl, I would say it's probably like a 12. Um, it's it's pretty thin, um, but you can use it for embroidery. You can use it for hand sewing. Um, it's kind of anywhere that you would use. It's a little thicker if you use silk thread for um, like needle turn applique or English paper piecing. This is thicker than kind of the silk thread that you would normally use for that kind of stuff. Um, but it's a very, very pretty decorative thread if you like stitching with silk and you want to try, you've tried the Averasua, you want to try something a little different. Um, this is Kinkame, K-I-N-K-A-M-E. Um, and like I said, it has 11 different, there's 11 different cards available with 11 different um, colorways on it. Uh, you get how many, I want to say there's 10 meters of each color. Yes. So there's 10 meters of each of the four colors on here. So you have a total of 40 meters. Um, on the card and you get just kind of enough to sample um, a small projects, that kind of thing. The 100 Lady Sampler, these kinds of things are great because you don't need a ton of thread in order to stitch up all the little dresses and outfits and stuff, um, but you can throw in some silk thread to give it that beautiful silk sheen um, and you've got kind of all these different options. So, all right. So all of this stuff, um, the Olympus has already been checked in, so that's already up on the website. I'll be doing the Daruma um, next after I uh, close this up. So you'll see the Daruma stuff and the fabric um, later on this evening. And like I said, those new bolts of fabric, I will try to get them up before I head out uh, this weekend, but if not, um, I'll get them up first thing when I get back from spring break. So, um, so there'll be no live uh, next week. Um, probably not the week after that either, but uh, I'll be back in a couple of weeks with another live and there should be a good stack of restock boxes by then. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys are doing well and enjoying. Uh, we got a nice little cold snap uh, here um, last night and so I'm loving it. I, I love cold weather <laughs> and I'm not a huge fan of, of spring, so I'm super happy today. Um, but all right, everybody. Uh, I will talk to you all soon. Thank you. Bye.